Hey everyone! So anytime I film any sort of book haul, like the last one where I got 20 books for under $50, you guys are always asking me, where are you buying these books? I have seen your comments asking for this type of video, but prior to starting this channel, I only purchased books off of the Borders Used section. It was fantastic. They were so cheap and shipping wasn't bad, even if they were coming from different areas. They would give you a lower shipping rate if you bought a lot of books. It was fantastic. So when Borders went away, I was at a loss for really where to go to buy books. It might my budget that I wanted so I turned to you guys and asked for suggestions and you guys give me great advice and I've been trying out some of your suggestions and that's why it's taken a few months or so for this video to get up. I'm going to divide this video into two sections the first one being when you're just perusing for books you don't have anything specific in mind. The second section will be for when you do have something specific in mind and you're just looking for these exact books but you don't want to be spending the 20 or 25 dollars that it is at say Barnes & Noble. Also if you have any other suggestions that I don't mention in this video make sure to put them down below and I will go through them once this video has been up for a few days and add your suggestions into the bottom bar of this video then this video can be a good kind of hub for just a bunch of suggestions for where to buy cheap books my first suggestion is actually a place that I discovered a couple weeks back and I mentioned it in my book haul and that is Goodwill. I'd been in Goodwill a number of times before but hadn't really even noticed that there was a book section but at the Goodwill near my house there is a huge book section and paperbacks are $1.50 and hardback are $2.50. And if you buy books in bulk, they will take the price down even more. Will seems to be kind of a dumping ground for books that were previously popular maybe a few years back. So books like Eat, Pray, Love, The Ugly Series, Twilight, anything really Stephen King or James Patterson. I get the impression that people bought these books because they are popular or they gifted them to someone and no one really ends up reading them because they are in quite good condition I've noticed and they end up at Goodwill. The second place that I want to mention is the library and I don't know if it's just the one near my house that does this but right at the front of the library is a fairly big sale section. Paperbacks are a dollar and hardbacks are a dollar fifty. At least at mine there's also always a huge romance section and they have it on a little wheelie cart. There's probably about a hundred romance novel just little paperback ones for about 50 cents so if you're feeling lonely you can go to that. A really good place for finding cheaper books that aren't necessarily dirt cheap but they are brand new is the bargain section at Barnes & Noble. I've also ask people who work at Barnes & Noble if they have a used section because I have been in ones before where they have almost a little push cart and it's filled with all really good condition books and they generally cost about three dollars. I always find it at like the back of the store and I think they're hiding it from people like me who they know if it was at the front of the store would just go to that solely. Now I'm going to give you my favorite place of all time for buying specific books when I have something in mind and I just want this book for just a dollar and I don't want to be spending a lot and that is half.com. I think it's actually half.ebay.com but if you type in half.com it will come up. It's a medley of new and used books and you might be thinking this is eBay. I don't want to have to be dealing with auctions. It's kind of like eBay but without the auctions and they have nearly every book you can think of and a lot of them cost just around $1.50, $1.25. The one thing I'm not the biggest fan of about this website is that shipping is individual, especially if it's from different sellers. If it's all from the same seller, you can get it at a reduced shipping. Same time, shipping is not horrendous. It's around $3 for each item you buy from a different seller. But I think people need to keep in mind that Buying a book where say it costs $1.50 and you're spending $3 on shipping so it's $4.50 is still a better deal than going into Barnes & Noble and spending $10 or $15 on that book. I get the impression that most people have this complex about just not wanting to spend more on shipping than they are on the actual items, but if the overall price is still less than what you'd be paying in store, then it's still a better deal. Just look at the overall price and look at what you're getting compared to that. Another great area is the Barnes & Noble website. Anytime you click on a book, I was just buying some books for my birthday. I was showing the ones um, I wanted my mom to get me. And for instance, it had, say, Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. Not even in any kind of bargain sale section. It was just $11 on the website hardback as opposed to the $18 that I think it is in store. 
Barnes & Noble is also good because if you're buying new books, if you spend $25, it is free shipping. So if you just want to get books right away that are brand new and you don't want to have to deal with find, finding them really cheap, the Barnes & Noble website still is pretty good and cheaper than going in store. The used section isn't as good as Borders just because shipping is a little bit more. I don't think you get a discounted rate on shipping if you buy a lot like you did on Borders, but it still is fairly good. Some websites that other people have suggested but I haven't personally tried are Amazon. I don't know why I haven't tried that. I would probably love doing Amazon. I just haven't really ever gotten around. Story is one that a lot of people suggested and I think this is good. I don't know if actually the books are new or used. I haven't tried it but I know it is free worldwide shipping which is what a lot of people love and I know that's the draw for a lot of people. That's not huge incentive to me just because I've noticed a lot of the books still tend to be around 10 or 11 dollars but it still is a good place since it has that free shipping perk.